So here are all the things that should come with your motorcycle security kit. It includes an alarm, a motion sensor, some remotes, and some wires that are color-coded to better help you install all the features. Now I'm going to be going over the installation for all these features, but you can just pick and install the ones you want, whether it be all three features or just one of them. One thing I highly recommend you guys get is a wiring diagram specific for your bike. Here's the one I use for mine. If you guys want, you can pause the video and take a screenshot of this image because it shows you where all the wires are supposed to be connected to. Now if you feel overwhelmed by this wiring diagram, don't worry because after you watch this video you should be more comfortable with reading them. Let's quickly go over the purpose of each wire. You have the black and the red wire which will provide power for your security system. You have the two yellow wires which will hook up to your lights and flash when the alarm is triggered. You have the blue and the orange wire which will be responsible for your remote starter. And you have the gray and the pink wire which will be responsible for your mobilizer. So the first thing you want to do is remove any parts of the bike that are blocking access to the battery and other wiring components. We're going to connect the power and ground of the security system directly to the battery. By simply doing this, your alarm will be fully functional. So we have to prepare the red and the black wire of the security system. We have to locate the battery. And we're going to take the red wire and connect it to the red terminal of the battery and the black wire and connect it to the black terminal of the battery. Now all that's left to do is to connect the black wire to the black terminal and the red wire to the red terminal of the battery. We're now going to connect some warning lights. You can use any of the lights of the bike, which can include turn signals, tail lights, headlights. For my specific situation, I use some aftermarket LEDs that I had installed on the bike. As an example, I'm going to show you guys how to identify and wire the right turn signal as a warning light. So the two yellow wires of the security system will provide power to the warning lights. Somewhere near your taillight, you want to identify the wires that are responsible for giving power to your turn signals, taillight, and license plate light. Once you've identified those wires, what you can do is look for the specific wire that provides power to the right turn signal. In this case, it was a light green wire. Now, I've previously installed an aftermarket LED taillight on this bike. So the lime green wire is now connected to the yellow wire, which provides power for the right turn signal of the taillight. So let's say I didn't have a wiring diagram, or I couldn't figure out what this yellow wire was connected to. I can use a circuit tester just like this one that allows me to probe into the wire and see if it's getting power. So with the probe now inserted into the wire, what you want to do is turn on the bike and engage the right turn signal. As you'll see, as the right turn signal flashes, so does the light inside the probe, which means that this yellow wire gives power to the right turn signal. So if you want one of your warning lights to be the right turn signal, what you have to do is get the yellow wire of your security system and connect it to this wire. But now, like I said earlier, I use my aftermarket headlight and some LEDs as my warning lights. So I use a tap connector to connect the yellow wire to the power going to those accessories. So with that all wired, now when we arm the alarm, when it gets triggered, not only will the alarm go off, but so will the lights that we tapped into. We're now gonna wire in the remote starter. The blue and the orange wires are responsible for this feature. We're gonna focus on the blue wire first and then address the orange one. So the blue wire connects to the starter relay, and to find the starter relay, all you have to do is follow the red wire from the battery, which is directly connected to the starter relay. So once you've identified the starter relay, what you want to do is disconnect the connector. There's going to be three wires connected to the starter relay. One is going to be power, one is going to be ground, and the third one is going to be the one you're going to tap into. So what we're going to do is take the blue wire from our security system and tap it into this yellow and green wire using a tap connector. Now with that all done, you can reconnect everything back to the starter relay and we can address the orange wire. Now the last thing we need to do to get the remote starter to work is to wire in our orange wire from the security system. We have to wire it into our starter switch. Now the starter button wire for the specific bike is located all the way by the front of the bike. So I had to extend the orange wire and I did this using some extra wire that I had laying around. Now the way I figured out that I needed to connect to the tan and white stripe wire is by using the wiring diagram. I saw that it was connected to the ignition coils as well as the ignition control unit which are both necessary to start the bike. So to find this wire, what you can do is locate the starter button on your bike, which is most likely on the right hand control unit of the handlebar. You can then see where those wires leave that unit, and that's where you'll find this wire. Once you've identified the starter switch wire, all you have to do is connect the orange wire to it using a tap connector. With that all wired up, all you have to do now is double tap the lightning bolt icon on your remote, which will start the bike. We're now going to wire up the mobilizer, which utilizes the gray and pink wires of the security system. And those connect to the engine stop switch. Now there's two ways you can wire this. The first is by wiring it straight into the tan with white stripe wire that we wired our starter switch to. But what I ended up doing was I connected the mobilizer wires to the tan with black stripe wire closer to the fuse box. The reason I did this was because by doing it this way, not only will the bike not start if someone tries to start it when the alarm is armed, 
but it'll also blow a fuse, which ensures that even if they disconnect the alarm, the bike still won't start. So you're going to use buck connectors to first connect the pink wire to the part of the wire that's connected directly to the kill switch. Then you're going to take the gray wire and connect it to the wire that's closest to the fuse box. Here's how I organize the security system, including the wires, the alarm, and the motion sensor. Just leave it in the comment section below and I'll be sure to answer. 